Oh, hello everyone and welcome to the video. A little bit of housekeeping right off the bat. Firstly, question of the day. What universe are you going to pick to join in the second Festival of Universes event? Universe 6, Universe 7, or Universe 11? I'm going to pick Universe 7, because that's what the, uh, the, the Goku universe, and let's be fair, it's going to win again. You can, if you just want easy wins, pick that. And secondly, very quick note, this is the first video I'm actually recording on my new computer, on my new setup. So far, so good. But just in case this video uh, feels a little bit off, like in the um, commentary or what have you, like the sound of the picture, don't worry about it. It'll be fixed hopefully for the next video. Just iron ironing out a few little bits here. But that said, I've actually downloaded the update. Um, and I've got the PS4 version as well, so we can actually take a quick look at the patch notes because on the PS5 version, on any PS5 exclusive version of a game, you can't see what the patch notes are, which is ludicrous. Like, I don't know why you can't do that. But let's go over the update history. So this is version 1.41. Yes, there, there it is, of course it is. Uh, with that said, I got both of them, but for some reason, weirdly enough, I had the latest version before getting the new version. The PS5 version, which we'll start up in a moment, that, on, that that was like a 100 megabyte update. It was a very, very quick update. It took like a minute to get. But then the PS4 version was about seven, seven gigabytes. Weird, I don't know. But here are the patch notes. Version 1.4 notes. Added STP medals as new in-game currency. <laughs> I love this next part. <laughs> added a feature where players can spend real money to purchase STP medals. Hey guys, did you know microtransactions and microcurrencies are now features? We live in a society. <laughs> okay, that's cheeky. Added an elite patroller match feature to the Festival of Universes as well as bronze statues for elite patrollers in universe lobbies. Added star coins to the Festival of Universes reward as well as a star coin shop in universe lobbies. Okay, so I think they've added that. Uh, hold on, we'll go over that in a moment. Rebounds, glory points acquired in the Festival of Universes and made other improvements slash adjustments. Oh, yes. Yeah. So right there, these star coins, I think that's brand new. I don't know what's going on with the item shop in the Festival of Universes. It was added in October last year <laughs> and they still haven't opened it up. It's never been opened, so I wonder if that star coin thing is that. But regardless, we'll also I'll also take a look at the um, the currency later on on the console's uh, storefront and all that good stuff uh, to see what like I don't know what you can use to purchase with this. I don't know. With that said, before we start off the game, do me a favor if you haven't done so already, leave a like on the video and do make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already previously subscribed to the channel. About give or take 50% of you watching this part right here are not actually subscribed, so please do that. And leave a like on the video, and I appreciate it. And that said, let's now start up Dragon Balls in the verse 2. See what's new right off the bat, all that good stuff. Now, this video is late. This update came out, I think, five hours ago, and I actually got it then. But I just haven't uh, done a video on it yet because they they actually did, and I don't know if it's back up yet. They extended the maintenance, meaning that the online servers aren't working, so we have to wait and see. They haven't posted what the next raid is either, which should start in three and a half hours. Oh, hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Please do just wait for it. Uh, okay, are the servers back up then? I would assume so. Okay. Okay, yeah. I, uh, yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, servers are, looks like the servers are back up now. Uh, I don't think they posted saying that the maintenance is over, which is a bit annoying. But that's... Okay, looks like it's all working. So, I... Again, I have I know it's the update that adds the STP medals, which we'll get in a moment or we'll have a look at in a moment, as well as the universe, second festival of the universe event. I don't know if the second festival has actually started yet or if it's just ready, you know, to be started. But we'll have to wait and see as we now load in to Canton City. Oh yes, home of the time patrol. Oh yes, and now we have loaded into Canton City, the home of the time patrol. Pop-ups, wait for it. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so it says version 1.2, 2.01. It's that. It's just weird how they do. It's like a different version number on the title screen and the patch notes, whatever. 
STP medals and new in-game currency have been added. Finally. I say finally. It's, it's People have been excited for this. It's like, it's just my, my currency. Like, what, what are you talking about? Just like TP medals, as long as you're connected to the Zinniverse servers, you can use them in the metal shop. Photo mode. Oh, okay. Uh, photo mode as in... Uh, Hold on, uh, I hope you can use this for tolls, like actually, whatever. Uh, photo mode is in to buy the stamps, which no one uses. You can use them in the metal shop, photo mode, customized partner mode, and other in-game locations. You can use them like TP medals and purchase the same items from the same locations, with the exception of the capsule machine and heal coliseum, the stylist, and the Canton City broadcast. Hold on, uh, wait, wait. You can use the TP medals to purchase the same items from the same locations with the exception of the capsule machine, the stylist, and the Canton City broadcast. Oh, I thought that meant the Canton City TV. No, it's the, bro the, the radio. Okay, cool. Uh, and I'm guessing that's because these, the stylist is the stylist. The Hero Coliseum and the, uh, the Canton City radio have not been updated for uh, well over a year at this point. So I think those are done. Good. No, no one cares about the Hero Coliseum. We'll also periodically add special items that can only be purchased with STP medals, so keep an eye out for them. STP medal shop. The TP medal shop is now the new and improved medal stop. We already knew this. Speak to the clerk to access the TP medal shop or the STP medal shop. Oh, he just doesn't stop, does it? Uh, version 1.22.01. Festival of Universes Elite Patroller Matches. In the Festival of Universes, Elite Patroller Matches will be held on certain weeks. During these weeks, Elite Patrollers will also earn the most glory points by the end of the previous week. Will earn extra glory points. Additionally, anyone who is on the same universe as the Elite Patrollers and matches up with them in any mod will earn extra glory points. This will not be exploited at all. Smiley face. Okay. So. Yeah, the online servers. Oh, that's rude. The online servers do seem to actually be working now. There's a lot of people at the metal shop. Let's see what. Welcome. Friend. It's available. Oh, hold on. That's a new thing there. Oh, okay. That's cheeky. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Welcome to the metal shop. We only keep the very best products in stock. Which shop would you like to uh, patronize? Oh, that's, that's a bit cheeky. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, slightly different uh, startup there. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Okay. I do like this. I am glad that you can purchase these... Um, Hold on, is there anything? Okay, there's nothing actually new here apart from. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I am glad that these are available, that the auras and all that are actually available uh, via this instead of it being exclusively a U Festival of Universes re um, reward. Now, with that said, I probably will end up in a moment getting some STP medals to take a look or rather to purchase these things that I don't already have. But let's just take a quick look, shall we, at if the normal TP metal shop has been updated. I check this pretty much daily. Yeah, so where CC Basket is, I can't, there's nothing there. I just check this daily just to see if new things have been added, which so far nothing has. Okay, it doesn't seem like anything new is there. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, so you've got the custom colours on certain outfits here. Like, I will get the Zamos, the uh, few Zamos one. I'll get all of them, to be honest. Again, I don't know what the uh, currency is. Like, I don't know how much 300 is. But, of course, it's 300. And with, there's four parts of the Zamosu outfit. The top, bottoms, and the uh, boots. Yeah, so... Hold on. But yeah, okay. Yeah, so I will get that. I mean, I'll get it anyway because I content and all that. But with that said, let's just uh, check out the Festival of Universe lobby. Where is it? Oh, I hate that computer there. Go away. Uh, let's just... Oh, go away. No one cares. Uh, universe 6, 7, 11 or leave. Let's go to Universe 7, the lobby I'm going to definitely pick. I don't know if it started yet. Is there going to be Supreme Card Time Talking? Doesn't look like it. Can we go and at least register the team? Greetings. Nope. Okay, so I, I was almost certain that this would have finally have added the start of the second festival of the universes. I have no idea what they're going to be doing with this, or rather when it's going to start. 
Ah, that's so frustrating. Everything's closed. Team registration, literally nothing at all. Can I purchase anything? Is this even open? Oh, okay. Uh, version 1.20. Oh, it's a coin, uh, coin, star coin shop. Man, they've come like the worst names for these like items. <laughs> so the star coin shop has been added to the festival shop. So this is the previously one that just did nothing. You can use star coins in a new section of the shop to purchase special items. We plan to add more items during future festival universes. So make sure you keep an eye out for them. So very quickly, I have seen on Twitter, I forget who posted it, but they have added the outfits for the second Festival of the Universe and for the third festival. As in, well, actually, that's it. What can I, um, before I do that, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll show you what I mean by what I've just said. So I, and I really don't know what I did. I did as like a, as like a bit and I kind of regret it with how expensive it was for, for like pointless. So you've got the outfits here, like the normal one or the gold one. You can see there on the on on our right, there's like a one. It it just it just like look, just looks like a line. They've added the second festival universe outfit in, which is this, but with a two there, and the third one, which just has a three there. So I that to me that would say that the third festival might be out before the next DLC, Future Saga Chapter Two DLC eighteen. If that's the case, then that could suggest that there's going to be two of these festivals between each Future Saga Chapter DLC, meaning that I think by the time Future Saga Chapter 4 happens, we would have already have had, or will about to have, the seventh, seven, Festival of Universe event. So, Greetings. maybe that's uh, like to try and line everything up to maybe end support for the universe. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, skills. Okay, literally can't do anything here. Because I've got everything that's available. So I think it's just going to be a case of if you have the star coins, you can also purchase the normal stuff from the TP metal store. Uh, which again, I've. Oh no, okay, not even that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, just give me one moment. I'm checking this real time. Hold on, the official account has posted. Maintenance has, an has ended. Ended. Has ended. Thank you for cooperation. Please, we hope you continue to enjoy Dragon Ball Z in the first two. So guys, maintenance is finished. Great. Okay, one moment. <laughs> Actually, okay. before I say that, is there anything? Oh yeah, okay, so the last raid. Uh, I'm going to get some of these t uh, super medals anyway in a, in a minute. Yeah, next, last raid had the tape on outfit. Awesome. The next raid... Now that maintenance has ended, I would assume will be posted any moment, which should happen later today. So that said, uh, let's go check out the medals and how much they cost and all that. And again, one moment. Okay, I am back. I took a quick look and um, I just thought, you know what? Because I'll, I'll probably do it anyway. I have actually just added quite a bit of um, money to my uh, PSN wallet in order to purchase you know, a fair few STP medals. Is it going to be worth it? Honestly, probably STP. I always have to be careful why I say that. Honestly, probably not. I'm doing it because I can and the idea is I've done this now so I hopefully won't have to do this again in the future. I mean, I don't have to do it now but I'm doing it whatever. Okay, so it looks like there are five different packs you can get. Uh, you can get 3,500, 500, 2,300. That's a weird um, number. 6,000 and 1,100. So I've added about 150 pounds to my wallet. I'm just going to get this three times over. So I'll have 180, 118, I don't know maths apparently, 18,000 <laughs> STP medals. Hopefully I won't have to get anyone in the future or there'll be like a better way. I mean, it's a, it's a write-off. <laughs> I unironically might be the first person ever to be buying this. That's not a brag at all. Okay, then we go and purchase these as well. And then I'll start up Xenoverse 2 again. See what happens, all that good stuff. Because like, the maintenance has literally just ended. Uh, even though I think I, I must have started recording or started this video as it finished. Why am I doing this? Like, this is, this is, I'm not gonna make the money back from this video, by the way. This is gonna be an extremely expensive video. So please make sure you leave a like on the video if you haven't done so already. Okay, let's now restart up Xenoverse 2. Maybe because the maintenance has ended. Maybe now they have, you know, uh, opened up the universities. We'll have to wait and see. So if it's like with normal TP medals, 
it'll say now that, oh, you, uh, you just, would you like to collect these medals? Wait for it. <laughs> it should say, oh, uh, STP medals times one, uh, t I keep wanting to say 180,000, times 18,000. No, it doesn't come up and say that. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Am I in trouble? <laughs> Am I Hopefully, as I load in, it will all go into the city. It'll say, oh, you here's your medals. Or you'll be added automatically. <laughs> I'm going to be so annoyed if, that, if it's not worked. Again, one moment. <laughs> I just realized 3,000 of that's gone instantly for the two auras. <laughs> the Rose aura, the legendary Super Saiyan aura, which I won't even use. Okay, nothing's popped up yet. Hopefully, okay, it's been automatically added. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> actually, you know, before anything else, let me just quickly check the news board, the scoreboard, to see if the next raid has been posted there. No, it's the same one, that Time Patroller Takedown. Yeah, it's weird that they've not, um, and shout out to Deoxys. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if... No, no, I would imagine there's going to be a raid starting today. And I will do a video on that. So do make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, the Metal Welcome. Store. Or rather, the STP Metal Store. Wow, this is not worth it. <laughs> Susie Mascot, it's the Aura. Super Saiyan Rose and... Legendary Super Saiyan. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. Oh, man. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Let me just quickly check. Quickly check. I just want to make sure something. Okay, so the uh, the custom color, for example, uh, Fuser Master Outfit is, ex sorry, uh, is exclusively, at least as of right now, part of the STP mail stuff. So I'm going to get one of each. Oh, it loads up each time you purchase. It saves each time you purchase. That's fun. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Uh. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, I, I just love it when I do videos when I purchase the micro stuff. Um, like, it's happened a few times before and I just laugh because like, there's no way I'm, I'm going to make the money back from this video. So again, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, please. Uh. <laughs> Are you watched I'm going to make that really overpowered Super Saiyan, which is for... Um, what is it? Which is for... <laughs> like the drop rate of items, I'm gonna make that uh, part of the STP stuff, aren't I? Uh, where are we at? Options, lobby item settings. Yes. So I just go for Super Saiyan Rose. Eh? <laughs> Come on. Uh, whatever. <laughs> it's, like it's, it's just like it's just misty. What do you expect? <laughs> Is it worth it uh, with the medals? Personally, I don't think so, but I'll leave that up to you. And yeah, I might as well take a quick look. I mean, you can't even use it on a vehicle either. And you know what's even worse? Hold on. Boom. Cool. Do you know what's even worse? When you fly, it gets rid of it. What is the point? Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. With that said, thank you all ever so much for watching the video. The second universe should be kicking off in me. Like, Imminently, I'll be doing videos and tutorials, all that good stuff. How to get star coins if, the, if that comes out soon. Uh, possibly another upload later today, if and when the next raid starts in Universe 2. I'm going to guess it's going to be revealed soon and start soon. So do make sure you subscribe for that. And if you're uh, in uh, well, Europe when it starts, I'll probably be starting that as soon as it kicks off. So do feel free to try and search to join the team, uh, my lobby, all that good stuff. Just don't run gigantic raw. Okay. Thank you all for watching. More videos on the screen right now, and I will see you on one of these videos in just a moment.